Hey, what's up guys? Slaughter Fitz back here with another build slash Skyrim character, and this time I have my uh, Conjurer kind of warrior guy, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. Tell me what you think of the build in the comments, and yeah. So I would say what's so good about this uh, character and why he's like one of my best guys is his, or my, <laughs> with him's kind of approach to uh, fighting. So I always... You know, get my armor and two Dramar. So I always have a group of at least like four. And then I have the Daedric Sword with Paralyze. So I'm paralyzing people while slashing them, while jumping them with like four people. And so yeah, it's pretty vicious. And I have a ton of magic there. Like as you can see this. So yeah. So as for spells, I basically just stick to Conjure Jamor Lord, Bound Sword when I want to get uh, Soul Gems because I have the perk where you can fill Soul Gems with them. So Bound Sword to charge up my main sword that I use, and then uh, Restoration of course, and uh, and then besides that just. Uh, ebony flash and then occasionally I guess I use dragon hide um, but and mass paralysis but the whole master level like ritual kind of dance thing you have to do just kind of takes away from it so I was like mass paralysis I only ever use if I like sneak up on a group of people and then I like do it like before they have like a chance to like turn around and dragon hide I only ever use if I like know there's gonna be some big boss on like the other end of the door and I can like do it and then go through and fight him but ebony flesh I would say is fine so I usually stick to ebony flesh and normal paralyze and those work pretty well for me uh, yeah that's about it for the magic in terms of shouts I usually just do ice form another just another way to paralyze them I'm kind of just like <laughs> a paralyzed spammer and uh, yeah that's kind of, I would say ice form is the main shout I use on this guy and in terms of powers, I, I use all of these, I'd say. Ancestor's Wrath is really good. I, n I never really played as Dunmer, and I recently made this guy, well, like a year or two ago. And, uh, yeah, Ancestor's Wrath is really good, in my opinion. So, in terms of weapons, I have my sword, which is the Sword of Xanic. Uh This guy's name is Xanic, so that's why everything's named after him. So, the enchantment is absorbs 24 points of health and 30 points of magicka. I got this because the final perk for uh, enchanting is that you can do two enchantments. And so yeah, I got this sword through the Atronach Forge, I think it's called, and then enchanted it. And so this is pretty damn good. The damage is not amazing, but he's not really a one-handed guy. I mostly conjure Dramora to like do it for me. But uh, yeah, when I need to get people, it does them pretty vicious. And especially for like magical kind of people like uh, like Aldo, or not Aldo, I Mirak or someone like that. It is actually really good. Or like uh, mages that like it really like kills them. And then my ranged weapon is Dwarven Crossbow that I upgraded. And 40 damage, pretty good in my opinion, especially since I'm not really like an archer at all, but when I need to use this, it does like good damage. Ignores 50% of armor, and it doesn't say the enchantments, but I believe they are, I think I have stamina, absorption, and uh, chaos damage on this. So pretty good. And then I use, it's right now it's on Dwarven Bolt, but I usually use one of the exploding Dwarven Bolts, like, usually shock. Um, but yeah. You'll notice that I have nothing of any armor. I don't wear anything of any armor. And that is because there is an alteration perk that makes it like the ebony flesh and all those flesh spells, wherever it is. Yeah. Three times as strong if not wearing any armor. So if I wore any armor, I'm pretty sure it would like do nothing. But since I'm wearing no armor, it's three times as strong. So it's like I mean I think it equates to about as good as like pretty normal armor. But uh I don't have to like carry anything. So, Archmage robes, all spells cost 15% less to cast, 50, or plus 50 Magicka, and Magicka regenerates 100% faster. Boots of Xanic, these were cultist boots that I liked the look of, so I just took and uh, named them. Carrying capacity increased by 46, sneaking is 50% better. Chain of Xanic increases your health by 
68 points and Magicka by 68 points. That's pretty good in my opinion. Crown of Xanic increases your Magicka by 75 points, increases Magicka regeneration by 75%. So that's also really good in my opinion. I mean, that definitely helps for uh, Magicka. That's why I have so much Magicka. I think my Magicka is in like the 600. Or it's almost 600. And uh, it also regenerates super fast. And then my gloves. These are the uh, vampire gloves. These were really hard to get. I did not know how... Or not hard, but annoying to get. I did not know how annoying these were to get. It took me a while. Um... Or, like, an afternoon. <laughs> King capacity increased by 41, and Magicka increased by 68. And my ring uh, increases my Magicka and health by 68. And so I also like to have, like, a secondary outfit for my guys that are, like, clothes. So I can also show you my clothes. Um, I have the... Where is the boots? Or the shoes. The shoes sneaking is 44% better, and carry capacity is increased by 41. Magicka regenerates 68% faster, increasing me in, eh, and increases my magic by 68. And the clothes increase Magicka by 68. Conjuration costs 70% le less to cast, and Magicka regenerates 10% faster. So this is the other outfit. This is like the whole vampire outfit that you get from that one mission I said was super annoying. And yep, that does it for the clothes. So in terms of perks. Alteration is definitely what I put a ton into with this guy. Um, I did not do the Atronach because... So when I did the Atronach Stone, which is, I think, 50% of magic res or absorption, it, like, 50% of the time, my Conjuration spells wouldn't work, and I looked it up, and, like, that's a thing. So I don't know if that applies to this, but I don't want to have 30% of the time, like, it doesn't work. So that's why I haven't done that. Um, but yeah, and then so yeah, my main ones I put into put perks into is mage armor and then the different levels, and then enchanting, obviously I put a lot into and conjuration, and that's that's mainly it. Conjuration I put a lot into. So yeah, I think that about does it for this character. My follower is just a work in progress. I did have my wife was uh, Brenlin Marin or whatever her name is, but she started attacking my dog, so I killed her. <laughs> But then Vigilance died, so I was like, fuck, bro, like, why did I do that? Um, but she was definitely a way better follower than this lady. This lady's just, like, a Dawn Guard person. But, uh, yeah, this is kind of a work in progress. I'm probably going to go get someone else. But, yep, that uh, does it for this character. Tell me what you think of the build in the description. I mean, not the description. <laughs> the uh, comments. And, uh, yeah, tune into the next video. Thanks for watching.